Hello everyone, this is Gas. Welcome to my YouTube video channel. This is a, a small review that I long promised review about the Star 05 wireless pen tablet by XP Pen. Well, I'm doing this review but not because I'm an expert and everyone just handing me this kind of tablets all the time to make reviews. It's because it's the one I have. Actually, I have. Okay? This is the Star 05 XP Pen wireless tablet. As you see, it's wireless. It doesn't use Bluetooth. That's what I like because many of the times the YouTube can just blow up your battery. I mean, it's draining so fast. It can drain the batteries of cell phone. Yeah, it can do the same with the tablet. This one uses a 2.4 gigahertz kind of radio thingy that it's connected using the USB channel. Okay, so that is a kind of good thing because it's pretty much widely used for everyone. So it's going to be cheap and uh, decrease the price of the tablet, which is very good. Also, the tablet has like a thousands of point of pressure. That means good because I can just mimic whatever the style is. Um, I'm a regular 2D artist. I'm a cubist one. This is the kind of art that I can do using, you know, pencils and also acrylics. Yeah, this is uh, Jim Morrison, the words. Okay. And also, I'm using a uh, pen and ink, like this, for comics. Mimic a Durer style. More Durer, pen and ink. So the transition from using, you know, pen over paper to a computer and something that you are not watching, whatever you're doing, because you are doing over a tablet is nice. And also this, this particular kind of tablet can allow me the particularity to do this. Yeah, I'm watching here, whatever I'm doing this, and it looks pretty much like a, like a regular paper sometimes. It's not like a pen display. Like you can use it this over this, which I love it, but uh, I don't have it. Right now there's a quite a little all out of my leg because they are like a, the, the chip is like a five hundred dollars or something like that. But this is good for starters. I mean, if you want to go the transition and do the big jump from the two D artist to something more digital, because everyone is digital right now. So um, you you can start with something that is affordable. I choose this because it's affordable. This is my replace for the uh, my uh, old bamboo wacom. I have a Wacom, uh, the bamboo pen, and this is the this is the 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 pen on my bamboo pen. See, this is what I don't like much the bamboos at that time. I bought this in two thousand six. The the Star Five is for two thousand seventeen. It's almost a, a, a from a middle of this year. I mean, I've been using this tablet for like a six months or more, pretty much, and. Uh, as you can see here, this one is kind of stiff. Also, it's a little heavy. Doesn't have battery, yeah, yeah that's true. This one doesn't need to be recharged either. But I like this. It feels like it has a, st a string. Yeah, it's a spring. Like uh, using, you know, uh, a rapid over for a ball pin in the past. Something that pretty, pretty much all artists were pretty much used to, yeah. I'm old. <laughs> so uh, yeah, this is the one of the main reasons that I buy. The other main reason is uh, about this particular brand, I mean, XP Pen, is because this one is the one that has a lot of videos and a lot of reviews over YouTube. The other main reason was because of the price. The price is only $17, which was a very good price. And I'd rather go to Amazon than to the guys on eBay or also the guys on AliExpress.com because those guys sounds like they are not the regular XP Pen. I just bought it for the regular XP Pen store. So whatever is your decision on the tablet, because there's many brands in the market. I mean, there is like a XP Pen, there is XP Pen, there is Huion, there is a GT, there is a Genova, there is Monoprice. There is a, so many of these uh, Chinese or Japanese Wacom style kind of clones market tablets that right now you can just get confused. But the best way to do the yeah the best way to do is 
go through their store. XPPen has their own store. I mean, this is the XPPen store in Amazon. There is some way I know that the Huey Young have the, their own store here in the States and in, in China. So you can just go to the real guys and buy them from them instead of buying from a middleman that you don't know is it's, it's going to respond to you. Okay? So that's the good thing. The, the other thing that I don't like much about the 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 tablets is because it's not perfect it's just a machine nothing is perfect so the, the thing that I don't like much about this is uh, the battery should be a little more I mean 12 hours people say wow 12 hours is too much yeah but I can use it like one day of the job which is uh, eight hours sometimes nine hours in my job and then I have to uh, when I go back to the job and start using it again I have to have it uh, probably the three quarters or the two quarters uh, or the half of the day just plug it. Yeah, because of the battery. I will do something about the battery. Probably a bigger battery because I know there is a very tiny like this battery that can last, I mean, a lot of time. But I'm not complaining about the 12 hours. That's what I will change. That's how I would like. The other thing is that some programs have not this kind of uh, like being uh, you know very very in touch with the tablet as a many tablets I know that Krita is not as good with Wacom too so I know yeah but uh, Sketchbook Pro sometimes has some kind of glitches that you have to do the work around when you buy a tablet that is not a Wacom just remember if a Wacom has problems this might might have the same too so you have to do a work around. These are not perfect. These are not uh, dry and drawing over a paper. It has particularities. It has its advantages. Sometimes it has its difficulties because for me, the transition, it was pretty hard. Is it still pretty hard? You know, you see the kind of work that I done over a paper and it's the kind of work that I done over uh, a computer looks a little childish sometimes. Yeah. I like to have that kind of transition faster, but it's practice. There is a generation that is way ahead of us. So it's practice. I have to do the practice.
uh, Jagger. Um, it's a new uh, design that I'm doing right now. You can see it. This uh, this guy I'm using Photoshop this time. I'm not using Krita. Uh, I did use Krita for the last one that I post on uh, YouTube. This is a new one that I'm doing right now. You you should have seen the the rest of the pure process. This is the part of the process that I gonna got you to do this last part because I like the idea for you to see where's this uh, how can I, you use the the parts that are in Krita okay first let's put this I'm using the the keys right now for you to see that what I can use in uh, in the event that you are using the hot keys that are in the lateral part of this tablet as I remember this is the tablet I'm using, is the XP Pen, um, Star 05, the wireless tablet. And I talked to you uh, about that in the beginning of the of the video. Okay. Let's do some lines here. Here. Many people don't like to see that I'm doing. So right now, I'm just doing the part of the canon right here. Yes. I'm using this kind of a brush. This is, for me, it's pretty much like a pen. I like in a pen right now. I'm doing a lot of, you know, for the regular kind of, this is more advanced kind of, for me, because I cannot see this. It's happening on a tablet. That is not a regular kind of thing that you as many artists are accustomed to. For us, this is pretty much the, the jump in into a new different pool. Okay. See, sometimes it's difficult. I wish I can do something, you know, to do like this and then it happening, but not because I'm not using that. I'm just doing whatever you're seeing right now, which is pretty much this thing. Okay. See, this one is happening same way as whatever other kind of drawing you are doing or you are accustomed to also if you want it you can just make a zoom so you can yeah, just see this face you see you can just put some kind of shapes i'm not uh, doing like a kind of like a marvel or a dc kind of character Persona, uh, persona. Actually, I'm doing something that comes from my my real kind of experience or my kind of uh, idea of what a comic should be. Oh, it looks like that way. I have my own styles that you can see. It's something that is. I'm from South America, so we are not pretty much embedded like Marvel. Uh, look at like Valoriums um, and the Moebius kind of so Philip Droulet or, or the heavy metal or the metal Harland kind of uh, magazines. Yeah, we really like to do cross hatching too, but it's pretty much depending on what is the, this kind of. Uh, I am pretty much a detail oriented guy, but the, just because. I'm an artist, so yeah, the, the details are the kind of things might be not or, or might be or might not be very cool, but uh, it's, it's the kind of things that I like to do things. It's the kind of way I, I like to do things. So yeah, if you have your your own style and, or you you follow Marvel or DC, I'm not telling you that this is the the best way to do it. This this is my style. I guess I can try to pick some things from Marvel or DZ. But this is the kind I like to pretty much. So 
now let me increment a little more to size because I need this to be pretty dark. No joke, I need this to be dark. Good thing about this is the process of pressure that the MC can just the, uh, the redesign everything based on the points of pressure. So I can have this like this, or like this, pretty much like a, a marker, or I can do some kind of a like. lines just based on the points of pressure this is a very complicated drawing at least it's for me I've been doing just workings like 30 minutes at the beginning of this video you will see that this is fast forward pretty much all the time because that is the way it is for me. That doesn't mean that it's, it's difficult. It's difficult for me. Maybe there is a lot of people that see this and say, no, man, it's not that difficult. I can do it like one kicking. That's it. Okay, well, if you can do it that way, you have my admiration. Oh, well, everyone has this style of a toy at the beginning of this. This right now, I'm just starting to discover myself in this world. The, a friend of mine told me, just go, just to start. You already draw, you're already an artist. Yeah, you're an artist, so yeah, it's just a matter of. Well, Contrary many people things. I just did this on paper. Okay? And the good thing about this tablet is that I can do it like this. See? I can. But I don't like it much because I'm using. See, this is the Undo on the tablet. The problem is with the Undo says, I cannot do much of this because. I don't like the way it seems because I like to be in a very kind of control surface for the tablet. mix the stars with this and I can do things more simple I guess but I guess it's practice I wish I could do things like Jim Lee and the other guys that I can do the professional job for this but I know that I'm pretty much designing for logos and packaging but I like the idea to start you know doing this again it used to be very fun for the comics when I was young. And well, when you got married, you have to feed your family. And I was a copywriter for advertising agencies, so well, I think that I was the draw the line, but I always, always design anything that was designed for me. So yeah, sometimes it's just better to do it some way. Like one of my favorite French painter artists, his name is Delacroix. He said one time, Just tell me how can I do it, and I'll put the rest. That means it's 
schools are just this. Schools. They are just this. See? <laughs> That's the difference between using this tool or using other method. And when I say other method, I could say like this. I have to I think this tab in order to kind of do this kind of kind of the tick about this. Some people say something that maybe is the way. That's my point. This is a post Irma video. I'm doing this as a hurricane Irma. And as you can see, guys, I'm just doing this. See, this is the way this behaves. I like it. Like very much, if you ask me.
you can see right now, I'm just finishing the retouching of this piece. I'm based this in, uh, in a jacket that I use for fencing. Yeah, I practice fencing in uh, Nahuaco sometimes. And, I, and this is my fencing jacket. And I try to mimic some way because they were mimics. They were based in the jackets from the ways. And I like this guy to be a, some kind of some sort of a knife from the space also, but uh, pretty much focusing the Renaissance in the Middle Ages. See the guy, how the guy is. Hmm. This is the good thing. You have a visual guy here. So whatever is the optics you want. See? This is the guy. Finito. I hope you like it guys. Thank you. God bless you.